friends, we are back for another part of our argumentative writing unit. And this time we're looking at body paragraphs, the meat and muscle of your paper. So let's get started. What are body paragraphs? It's three, typically three paragraphs that explain the key arguments that are in your thesis. Each key argument should be covered in its own paragraph. If you don't know what thesis statements are, make sure you check out lesson two in this argumentative writing unit. So here are the parts of a body paragraph. Part one, we start with the topic sentence. So that's a sentence that explains your key argument for that paragraph. It's not your thesis statement. It's just a sentence that explains one key argument. And that will be the focus of your paragraph. Then you're gonna have some explanation and evidence. So this is where you get the facts, statistics, quotes that support your topic sentence with analysis in your own words. And then you're gonna put a concluding sentence. This is the last sentence of the paragraph that summarizes the key arguments and transitions the reader to the next paragraph. So why do we have body paragraphs? The body paragraphs are the building blocks of your argument. Without them, your argument would not be fully developed. It would just be your opinion. So some important notes about body paragraphs. After your topic sentence, you will write a sentence explaining what you mean in a little bit more detail. After you share your evidence, write a sentence or two that explains why the evidence you selected is important and how it connects to the topic sentence. And finally, avoid simply rewriting your topic sentence as your conclusion sentence. You will summarize the main point of the paragraph and transition the reader to the idea in the next paragraph. So here's some notes about using evidence. I know we talked about evidence in the last lesson, but just a little reminder here. Make sure you use the introductory phrase before you introduce the evidence. Use one to two solid pieces of evidence per body paragraph. And then finally, after your evidence, write a sentence that explains how the evidence connects to the key argument for that paragraph. So let's help your paragraph flow with some transitions. So transitions are single words, quick phrases, or sentences that help the reader understand what to do with the information you give them, and it gives them directions on how to piece together the ideas of your argument. So you can see in this chart right here some common transitions that you will use in your paper, in your body paragraphs, to go from one idea to the next. So let's dissect this body paragraph. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the topic sentence, we're going to bold the evidence. We're going to change the color of the transition words and underline the concluding sentence. So if you have the lesson that goes along with this, you can do it on your paper or on your Google slide. If you're just watching the YouTube channel, you can pause this video and then you can write these things down on notebook paper. All right, so let's read our body paragraph. <clears throat> College athletes should be paid because they bring in a considerable amount of revenue for their colleges, universities, and the NCAA. As it stands now, organizations profit unfairly from the work and likeness of college athletes. In fact, according to Bloomberg.com, the NCAA reported over $1.06 billion in revenue in 2017, which is the most recent available numbers. In 2018, NCAA President Mark Emmert was paid more than $2.7 million. Nine other NCAA executives were each paid more than $500,000 in 2018, with one paid more than $1.3 million. This shows that the athletes are... This shows that the athletes that are putting in the grueling day-in and day-out work are being exploited. Without college athletes, organizations like the NCAA and the universities would not be profitable, so they should fairly compensate the ones who are funding their paychecks. All right, so let's pause. We're going to find topic sentence, evidence, change the color of the transition words, and underline the concluding sentence. We are back, so let's look right here. Topic sentence is this. College athletes should be paid because they bring in a considerable amount of revenue for their colleges, university, and 
the NCAA. So I'm going to highlight that. That's the key argument of this paragraph. So everything in this paragraph should be related to that topic sentence. So this is where I explain the topic sentence right here. This is an explanation sentence. And then here we have evidence. So we're going to bold the evidence. What is this right here? In fact, according to Bloomberg.com. That, my friends, is a transition phrase. So we're going to change the color of that. So here's the evidence. Blah, blah, all the way down here. So about how much the people at the NCAA are getting paid. So that is my evidence. I'm going to bold that. This shows is a transition phrase. So I'm going to change the color of that. And then here's my explanation of what it shows. And then finally, a concluding sentence. Without college athletes, organizations like the NCAA and the universities would not be profitable, so they should fairly compensate the ones who are funding their paycheck. So I'm going to underline that. As you can see, everything in the topic sentence is related to how college athletes should be paid because they bring in a lot of money for colleges, universities, and NCAA. All right, so that is it. That is how you write a quality body paragraph. If you would like more help with this or you want the activities and mentor text and the guided notes that go along with this video, please check out the links below. Otherwise, stick around for Lesson 6, which is all about a counter-argument and how to write one. Until then, 